Hi guys, Brian the Scary Lion back with another video and today we are joined by Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne My brother Thomas Basically, I've been doing my prediction videos for a while I was doing giveaways on them which no one really seemed to care about so I figured let's make it a bit more entertaining We're going to be doing punishments instead Both of us will be giving our predictions for the upcoming pay-per-view the Greatest Royal Rumble. The Greatest Royal Rumble. Yeah, basically, we're going to score who gets more right and who gets more wrong. And whoever loses will be doing a forfeit that will be coming out of a jar. I haven't got the jar on me. Why, is it, why a jar? Why not a bowl? Because a jar is better. Or else there could be a box. It could be anything. <laughs> Let's just get straight into our prediction. Right, so the first match that we're going to go through is the four-way fatal for the Intercontinental Championship. This is The Miz, Samoa Joe, Finn Balor, and Seth Rollins. Who have you got and why? I've got Finn Balor. Finn Balor? I, I, just, I just think that Finn Balor's going to upstage uh, Seth Rollins, and then that's going to lead to every match at uh, Thingy. Backlash, just them two fighting for the Intercontinental Championship, and it'll be a great match. Not bad. My pick is going to be The Miz. Uh, I think there's going to be, like you said, a back and forth between Seth Rollins and Finn Balor. Um, but I think they're going to get distracted by this, uh, allowing The Miz to pick up the victory. And going forward, The Miz will feud with Daniel Bryan for the Intercontinental Championship, and, and eventually Daniel Bryan will hold that championship. So the next match that we've got is Jeff Hardy against Jinder Mahal for the United States Championship. Who have you got and why? I don't like admitting this, but I've got Jinder Mahal. Because it's getting done in Saudi Arabia, so they're going to want to have, you know, the Maha, the modern day Maharaja fucking winning the title in Saudi Arabia in front of, you know, the Saudi Arabian fans. Um, and they can't, plus they can't even really have a uh, thingy roll with a title, can they? If the Miz picks up the title at uh, the Greatest Rumble, they can't even really have roll with it up. Mm. Unfortunately, I'm going with the same answer for this. I don't think they'll have Jinder Mahal lose in front of the Saudi Arabia audience. Will Jinder Mahal get the over reaction from the fans, do you think? I don't think they'll. I don't think he will, but. I still don't think he's going to uh, lose that match. No, he's not, he's not going to lose that match. Next match that we're going to talk about is for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. This is the Bludgeon Brothers against the Usos. Who have you got and why? Bludgeon Brothers. Just the chatty picture of the ones the dominant tag team and they kind of have the win of the Tag Team Champions Championships at WrestleMania. Just to have them lose them again at the greatest rumble. For me, I'm going to go with the Usos on this. I, I, I just want to see the tag team titles back around the Usos West. Don't get me wrong, Luke Harper, Eric Rowan, great. And you're probably getting sick of me hearing this. Sick of me hearing this? Sick of hearing this from me. I just don't like the Bludgeon Brothers. It's a crappy gimmick. I don't know. Oh, I'm, I'm starting to get in, you know. The next match that we've got is for the Raw Tag Team Championships. This is The Bar versus Matt Hardy and Ray Wyatt. Who have you got in mind? No, I've got Matt and Bray. Matt, uh, Matt, Matt, and, Matt and Bray have to win it. It's a bit obvious. You're not going to have Cesaro and Sheamus win it after they just moved to SmackDown. You're not going to put the Raw Tag Team Championships on SmackDown, it'd just be a bit silly. Plus you've got uh, Sheamus that has to retire soon. Mm. So th they will only really give him another title run. I'm sorry, I, I don't know, they might give him another title run just to end his career out, uh, literally let him finish on a high because uh, due to injury he's going to have to retire at some point. Next, we will talk about the WWE Championship match. This is going to be AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Who have you got and why? I've got Shinsuke because I think it's a bit time that AJ have finally dropped the title. But don't end their feud because their feud is fucking amazing. You, you, you've got Shinsuke as the best heel in years. It's going to be a good match. 
Yeah, just say yeah the whole uh, me not speaking it English. Uh, that uh, it's brilliant. Not, not a good one, eh? But for me, I'm going with AJ Styles. I, I've just got a feeling, uh, and I don't know why they want to push for AJ Styles being the longest reigning champion. Mm. And it, it's not like it's a bad move. AJ Styles, you've seen him. You know how amazing he is. Uh, imagine being able to say for, for your company that he is the longest reigning champion. It just works well. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love Shinsuke Nakamura. Everything that he does is absolutely amazing. I, in this match, I just hope for more than we got to see at WrestleMania. No, WrestleMania was disappointing. <clears throat> it was a good match at WrestleMania, just wasn't what we expected. There was a lot more that could have been done. Now we're going to go into the Universal Championship match, which is going to be held inside a cage. It is Brock Lesnar against Roman Reigns. Who have you got and why? I've got Brock Lesnar because Brock Lesnar retains and then uh, um, Backlash, Samoa Joe beats Roman Reigns and then the next pay-per-view, Samoa Joe goes up against Brock Lesnar for a Brock Lesnar to drop the, drop the title to Samoa Joe. Uh, not bad, but no, I don't think it's going to play out like that. I think Roman Reigns is going to come in and walk out with a championship. They made him look massively, massively, massively overpowered in the last match. So I, I, I don't think they can have it with him not walking out with a championship. It, it sucks. It absolutely sucks. And considering what the rumours about Brock Lesnar's new contract, it, it kind of says that WWE won't keep the title around Brock Lesnar. But... Think about it. If Roman Reigns loses again, then uh, his match against Samoa Joe will be more like important for Roman Reigns to win it. And then if Samoa Joe beats Roman Reigns, then Samoa Joe should get the title shot. Yeah, Samoa Joe. It, would be a better champion. Yeah, but here, here's another plan you could go with. Have Roman Reigns win the title from Brock Lesnar, and we already know that it, we're going to see Roman Reigns against Samoa, Samoa Joe at Backlash. You can make that a title match. It works just as well. You could do it, but I'd say you need uh, Samoa Joe to pick up a big victory at a pay-per-view of us before he gets the title shot because he just came back, didn't he? He just came back yeah, last but he, week. Yeah, but he's the, he is the destroyer. True, but... Look at Brock Lesnar. He shows up when he wants, gets what he wants. That's, that's just bullshit. Yeah, it is fucking bullshit. Next, let's talk about the Cruiserweight Championship. This is going to be Cedric Alexander against the winner of the gauntlet match that, well, for us, it's going to be held tonight. We're recording this on the Tuesday. But for you guys, it'll have already been held, so you'll know who's won. Uh, but we wanted to do it before this, because not only do we want to predict who's going to win that match, we also want to try and predict who's going to be part of that match. Who do you think is going to win the gauntlet match? And who do you think is going to win it against, uh, between Cedric Alexander and this person? Uh, I think it's going to be Mustafa Ali to win the gauntlet match. Re- rematch from WrestleMania, which would happen. Fucking crappy match. You can't. You can't. You cannot say it was not Yeah, it was. But uh, on the so pre, it... for a pre-show match, that was the outstanding match of the pre-show. To be fair, it is one of the best matches we've seen from Two or Five Live, and to be put on the main event, uh, the main event, the main stage, like WrestleMania, it, it does bring light to Two or Five. But I'm saying Cedric Alexander. Saying Cedric Alexander to win. No. Uh, for me, um, yeah, Cedric Alexander, uh, I absolutely love him, but, uh, oh yeah, first of all, I agree, Mustafa Ali is going to win uh, the gauntlet match, but I also think Mustafa Ali is going to win the championship from Cedric Alexander. Don't get me wrong, I love Cedric Alexander, and I would love to see him keep hold of the title going forward. Uh, that's not to say Mustafa Ali is bad, Mustafa Ali. Nah, he's, he's brilliant. Yeah, he's, he's perfect time and time again. He's brilliant in the ring. But again, I'm going to come back to what we said about Jinder. It, it's the Saudi Arabia crowd. 
I think they're going to try to appeal more to that because of everything based around it. So, yeah, I think we're going to see Mustafa Ali walk away with the championship. It's not a bad move by any show. No. Mustafa Ali, he, he, he say he doesn't win it. He, he will deserve. He does deserve to have a shot in the future again to win it. So the next match that we've got is the Undertaker versus Rusev in a casket match. Now originally, uh, I don't know exactly what happened around this. Uh, it, it it started out. It was the Undertaker versus Rusev in a casket match. Then they changed it so that someone else would take his place. No. And now they flipped it back to being the Undertaker. Uh, that was meant to be white, did you? Yeah. Uh, I, I'm not sure exactly what happened, but your predictions and why? Take off. Just straight up take off. They're going to bury Rusev and then release them. Unfortunately, yeah. Ru- Rusev de- deserves a lot more than this. Uh, I mean, they could they could do this really well. They could do it brilliantly. Like, obviously, you're going to have The Undertaker win. That's not, not, uh, without a shadow of a doubt. This is like The Undertaker saying he's back against Rusev. So, yeah, they're going to have The Undertaker win. But he could have Rusev put on some absolute destruction throughout the match. I don't know. I'm, I'm just saying that it's going to be a squash match. And then Rusev's going to get that annoyed with it. Before they drop, before WWE actually drop it, because the, they are going to drop him at some point. He's going to leave and return to the end of the scene and then become even, even more over with the crowd. Well, rumours were that he's, he'd already asked to be released from WWE. Uh, just was it just after WrestleMania? Or just before? I'm th- not too sure. I think it was just before because I think the plans were before he asked to uh, leave. I think the plans were that he was winning the US title. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we've both got the Undertaker for that one. No. The, we've got a few that we've both got. So the next match that we've got, we know these two can put on a really good match. It's Triple H against John Cena. Who have you got and why? I don't know. They're just This match makes no sense. Why, why are they even in it? Uh, well, it, it's going to be a good match. It's John Cena and Triple H. We know that these two can put on a good match. We've seen it before. It's I'm, main I'm, event at WrestleMania. I'm saying big match, John. Big match, John? Because, you know, it was that match at WrestleMania against the other second. It was five previous pay-per-view matches prior to that. This is another pay-per-view that he cannot lose. And if he loses, then what the fuck did WWE even did with John Cena? John Big Match Cena? I'm going to say Triple H. Trips. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say John Cena is going to continue to go on a losing streak. Just non-stop go on a losing streak until he snaps. The one's on him heel. If they're going to turn anybody heel, it's going to be Roman Reigns. I'm not saying they have to turn him heel. Roman Reigns. I'm not saying they have to turn him heel. They don't. They just have to make him go crazy. Yes, turn him heel. Not, not That's basically what it is. No, not necessarily. He, he, he could just be like, oh, my arms aren't working properly. Give me a break. Just have him go completely nuts. Just like starts uh, doing like weird shit, like fucking bro- like, like broken slash walking mat does. And not exactly like that, but you get you catch my drift with it. Mm. Uh, I don't know. That's just my thought of it. I just want John Cena to snap. I want to see something different. Okay, so moving on to the final match that we've got. It is the Greatest Royal Rumble. I do not know why they're doing this. Mm. I mean, don't get me wrong. You want to put on a big match since it's your first ever time in Saudi Arabia. But there's so many big matches you can put on. Not something that happens once a year that everyone gets hyped up for once a year. And not something that you've literally just destroyed the reputation of. Uh, I don't know. There could be a prize at the end of it. I'm hoping a title shot. If it's just a silly little trophy, I'll be disappointed. I'm hoping it's a title shot. But yeah, um, for this one, uh, we've got 50 superstars to pick from. So uh, I'm I'm not going to sit and list them all. I'm, I'm not doing that. Not all of them have been announced just yet. Oh. Yeah, there's. Uh, I've got a feeling that there's going to be some hometown 
uh, people, hometown wrestlers in there. Some wrestlers that are from Saudi Arabia. Yeah, it'll probably be some of that. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't even know the full list. He doesn't know the full list. So we're just going to pick who we'd like to see win this one. Right, as I was explaining earlier to you, I've got two picks for this. Right, but you can only actually have one. I know, but it's like the one that I want, he might not be in a match. Because I'm saying Johnny Gargano gets called up for the greatest rumble, have Johnny Gargano win it, and then have won God for a title straight away because he has the most popular super star ever from NXT. One of the great one of the greatest in ring performers ever to come out for NXT. Mm. So they could if they call him up to win this rumble, then that's one of the greatest decisions that they can do. But if they don't call him up, I'm saying Elias. Who have you got and why? <laughs> no, but who have you got? Uh for this one. I, I, it, it was hard thinking about it because there was a lot of superstars I actually thought, well, I'd love to see him win it. Uh, Kevin Owens, for one, I would, love, I would actually love to see Kevin Owens win it. I don't know how I'm actually changing men for Elias, sorry, from Elias to Chris Jericho, Y2J. And we'll come back, Kevin win, the, Kevin win the Royal Rumble, something that he's not managed today for his illustrious career. Come on. Is this? Are we even counting this as a real rumble? If we got a title, <laughs> if we got a title shot at the end, of it, yes. But it'll be a ti- it'll be a title shot after after they get a title shot. It'll be after backlash. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, Kevin Owens would be a good show for this. Uh, <clears throat> obviously, you can't have Rusev because he's going into the match against the Undertaker. Mm. Uh, in English, he, uh, he's become really popular. So to have him win it would be some of me. Baron Corbin. Uh, Baron Corbin, Dolph Ziggler, you know, people like this. Uh, Andrade Cien Almas, have him have this massive win for her. <coughs> He's just been called up, hasn't he? So, uh, uh, but I'm going to go with a crowd favourite, like ultimate crowd favourite on this one. Daniel Bryan. I'm going to say Daniel Bryan wins this one. Um, literally just... Because there's going to be quite a few controversial things throughout this, like, pay-per-view. Mm. And I think to end it all, they'll give fans something that they actually want, just so that it's a little case of, yeah, we know we gave you all this shit beforehand, but here you go, here's Daniel Bryan winning a Rumble. There's our predictions for what's going to happen at the Greatest Rumble. Um, I'm going to walk out with the WWE Championship. I am. Sorry to I am Tag Team Championship. <laughs> I'm the tag team champion. No, I'm the tag <laughs> team champion. Team Hell No. Yeah, that's a nice little shout back. But um, yeah, on Monday we'll be talking about what actually happened at the Greatest Royal Rumble, and we will be following through with our punishments. It's going to be pretty fun. I can't wait to pelt him with eggs or something. It's going to be f- fucking hilarious. That's the thing, you're going to lose it anyway. Nah, I'm, I'm winning this. Nah. Uh, thanks, Tom, for being part of this. I shall say bye now. <laughs> I'm not related to that. <laughs> I hope you did like this. Uh, if you did like it, give it a like. Comment down below um, your thoughts on this greatest Royal Rumble thing. Because for me, it's just a bit odd that they're doing it. I, yeah. Um, subscribe and hit that notification button so you can always stay up to date on my content and yeah, I'll catch you guys 